Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to customize the date and time in any format using the calendar API in our Android app. So let's begin. We will create a very simple layout. Next. Date, time, format, customization. And I click finish for my environment to load. Once the environment loads up, we can start. First and foremost, I will create a public method. Public void button. Uh, probably print or uh, display date time view view yeah perfect we'll use this method in our layout so i'll quickly go to the layout also the default text view i think i like to keep it we'll be printing our date and time uh, in the different formats or i'll just show one other format but uh, yeah we'll use this to print our output so i'll just give this name as text view print it as the initial text i'll change it to programmable i'll also increase the size size from 14 to say for example something like 20 so it's clearly visible and i'll add a button name of the button i can give it is uh, display date and time and i'll put some constraints and i will give uh, on click attribute to this button to the method we just now defined perfect now once we are back to java code the code is pretty simple we have to create one of the object called calendar and this calendar we can get the instance which will be basically the current time you can also give the time zone but if you don't give the time zone, it will take it by default uh, local from the local of the phone and once you have it then we can start forming our string so string string date time okay and here i think i will follow the date time uh, format as dd mm yy and then some space probably and then the hour probably hh and then minute and what else second yeah but but as we will see we can uh, uh, we can use any format uh, once we understand this concept but before i proceed i'll also what i'll quickly do is i'll create a class variable for my text view which i missed out in initially text view and i'll create this class variable and associate it with the widget find view by id r dot id dot text no 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 not that one r dot id dot text So let's define the this variable, but I think it's not coming up. I'm not sure why. Let me try once again. So it's not able to find this ID most likely. Uh, what I can do is most likely I can go back to my layout and see this ID looks okay. So there's a some slight error by mistake. I think I have instead of putting text view, I put time view. I don't know why it was a typo error. Click on refactors or edit text view for the other stuff as well, and I'll come back here and yeah no it's visible perfect so we will be needing this text view to print our output of the calendar whatever the string we are forming here so once we have this string now we can uh, this this format as i, I was telling this format uh, we can uh, define anything in this particular uh, form what i'm what we'll be seeing right now so we can form this string by using this calendar whatever we have just now initiated uh, or defined in line number 26 and then we can convert uh, one by one we can fetch the attributes out of it so say for example get and then we can first get the month uh, which is basically in this format uh, what we will need is month of the uh, the day not the month the day so what we can say the day of the month which is basically this attribute and to convert this will return in the integer format so we may have to return it into the uh, string format so for that what we can do is to change from integer to string we can use this string value of this particular functionality that's it so this will return me the day of the month but as we want to make it like this format so we'll just keep on adding over here and what we'll do is we'll probably first add something like a hyphen and plus 
and I think I'll copy paste this line of the control C control V and first is the day second will be my month so I'll just see what is the I think this is the month and uh, similarly I will just proceed after month I will get uh, is year so I'm pretty sure there should be something for year also which is this one yeah year and after year I don't think I will need this dash because we are trying to give a space here so I'll just give a space here and then I will just continue and value of now I need hour so h o u r hour and I think here instead of uh, hyphen we have we need column and I'll proceed and in the second one I, instead of hour I need something called minute and the last one I need something called second perfect and I think I don't think we need anything at the end again so I'll just remove it like this yeah one thing I would like to bring it to your notice here in the month it will always return one less so it starts the January from zero uh, then Fab is uh, one and uh, March is two and so and so forth so in case you want to make it correct so you can just add plus one here so that uh, because in English calendar we mostly read January as the first month 01 and 5 as 02 I think this plus 1 has to be added so shifted by 1 to take care of index uh, some comment to understand let's run this code and see how it come up, comes up ok so we have not printed this anywhere so we can in the meantime we can use our text view to set this text and we can set this string date time over here so yeah perfect so let's see how it comes, uh, comes up in the emulator yeah okay perfect so my emulator has come up and uh, yeah so we have got this button and our text view let's press this button and see what it happens so i can see the date has come uh, as 15th 4 which is the month april and 15th april uh, and the time is around 0 33 and 7 so I think it doesn't make sense it's the afternoon of 12 o'clock 12 o'clock and 33 minutes but why it's giving no instead of 12 it's giving 0 because I think we have used hour which is basically a 12 hours clock cycle so change to change it to 24 hours we should use this hour of the day so I'll just make a comment here also 24 hours clock and I'll read and see what it happens so most likely it will give no 12 so yeah so I think this is what we should have preferred perfect so if you can see no it has come as 12 and 33 is the minutes and 48 is the second we can of course go further down but i think this is the what i wanted to show you so that's it i just wanted to show you how easy it is to just once you can pull out each and every elements of the calendar the hours minutes days and months we, then we can process it and make it a format of our own uh, whatever we want so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day. bye